My name is Ashley Brown. My pronouns are she and hers, and I am a principal consultant at GH Smart. And this is a very, a very blunt conversation I had with my advisor. I remember telling him, hey Vince, you know, I don't want to go in the academic job market, but I feel like I should. And he said, well, why do you want it? Like, why do you feel like you should? And I said, well, I'm a black woman. I have a PhD. We're underrepresented in academia. I should at least just put myself out there and try for it. And he really sat me down. He said, Ashley, you're a black woman with a PhD. No matter where you go, you're going to be underrepresented. And <laughs> there are going to be people for you to mentor and inspire. And there are going to be people who you can help develop and grow. So don't put yourself through the whole rigorous process of doing the job market search, if it's not even what you want to do, and there's no guarantee you'd get a job offer anyway, like, why would you do that to yourself? And I paused and I was like, yeah, why would I do that to myself? That makes no sense. But I felt this, this guilt and this burden that I totally put on myself that wasn't even grounded in reality. Like where I am now, and, and the energy that I have and the way that I show up and the passion and excitement and the, the things that I'm able to do and the people I'm able to influence, I am a different person than when I was doing something that I just didn't really didn't enjoy. Like the PhD for me, although I started it with a lot of excitement and energy, it became like a means to an end to finish it. And the end was getting the degree. And so part of it was just realizing, okay, that's fine but then you're not going to live the rest of your life this way. So what are you really going to do? And how are you going to do it? And you don't have to have a 10-year plan or even a five-year plan, but really just making sure that next step is something you're excited about. And when you look back and say, okay, if I look over the scope of my life, this is taking me into more of the things that I think I'm excited about. Like, so that's, that to me is just a, a huge, a huge unlock for me and just realizing that you don't have to carry the burden of everyone else that came before you, because if you're happy and you're thriving, you're going to have that impact and other people will see it and feel it and experience it. You have the ability to solve problems, which every company will value. So if you do get an offer and you're just like, oh, this is awful and I don't want to do this, don't do it. Like keep looking for something different. Keep looking for something interesting. Keep looking for something exciting. Keep looking for something that fits into the bigger picture of how you want your world to be. And if you can't find that, look for something that keeps doors open. I think for me, when I think of my own experience, after being in professional development for five years at McKinsey, even though I love the work I did, I love the people that I worked with and my colleagues, it got to a point where I saw if I stayed here for much longer, doors would close. And I don't want those doors to close. I want doors to stay open to me. So the next interim step should make you feel excited. You should know how it fits into your growth as a person or as a professional. And it should keep as many doors open as possible. So when you go into the next step, you are that much more prepared and excited about how it takes you through your progression.